in the beautiful rolling green hills of southeast Pennsylvania, in the rural countryside of Chester County, the Gypsy Vanner Horse makes its home. Far from its origins in the United Kingdom, the Gypsy Vanner Horses of El Brio Vanner are creating their own legacy in North America. Welcome to El Brio Vanner. Gypsy Vanner Horse is a beautiful and rare new breed of horse in North America. Developed and nurtured by the European Gypsies, these horses have been selectively bred over the past half century to create a vision horse that was colorful enough to match the intricately designed and colorful caravan wagons the Gypsies call home, and kind enough in temperament to live with the Gypsies and their children. I grew up with horses. I had ponies as a child and you know, backyard riding horses and we did a lot of trail rides and rode with friends and just a lot of fun. Um, as I got older, I started training standard bred trotters and pacers. I did that for 20 years. And in between that, I also started showing quarter horse and paint breed shows. And after coming to El Brio, I decided that you know, I missed the trotters and pacers and I was looking for a breed that I could enjoy trail riding but also go out to a show and also drive. So my search started and I, I looked at all different breeds and kept going back to the Gypsy Vanner Horse. And it's, this happened for about a year and I kept going back and forth and back and forth and ended up looking at the Gypsy Vanner horses down in Ocala, Florida, and instead of one, we ended up with two. They are very addictive. I need to warn people ahead of time because it's very difficult just to have one or two. You end up with more and more. El Brio Vanner, the name came from, um, originally we used to have Peruvian Pasos. And the brio started out because of, of, it's a term used for Peruvian, and it means spirit and courage and excitement. And, you know, it's, since our, our Peruvians, we've obviously gone to Gypsy Vanner Horses. And we kept the same name because the Gypsy Vanner also has that same spirit and courage and it's that whole wow thing. Well you know Sue started research on the um, this particular breed about four and a half years ago and we were down in Florida for a short vacation and she said how would you like to take the Harleys and let's ride up to um, Ocala would like to show you this new breed. So I said, hey, that's great. Let's take a Harley ride and we'll run up there and check out the horses. So we did. So we arrived at this uh, Gypsy Vanner farm and um, there must have been 25 Gypsy Vanners there on the property. My first experience in seeing the breed, so I was like, wow, these horses are really cool. So we ended up spending time looking at the horses and um, just realized what a, neat, what a neat breed they were. So at the end of the day, it was kind of late in the day, we ended up spending the night and we're so impressed with this, um, I was so impressed with these horses that I said, let's go back tomorrow and take a look again and decide whether we want to do anything or not. So we drove back on the Harleys the next morning and as soon as we walked out into the uh, pasture area with the babies, the young ones, they all just came over and greeted us for the day. Long story short, we ended up um, buying two of these horses from Florida. And they were babies, they were young ones, so we had them shipped up here, and that was really the official start of our involvement with the uh, Gypsy Vanner breed. 
That's been about four years ago, and we're just now getting to the point where we have uh, babies on the ground for the second year. Uh, but I think one of the key things that uh, really brought home to me the, what, what has been happening with this breed for so long was when we had the opportunity this summer to uh, visit Appleby Fair over in uh, Manchester, England. How the, the gypsies uh, have developed these horses over the, over the years, this, gyps this gypsy van, a caravan, uh, uh, Appleby Fair event has been going on for about 300 years. And to see how the gypsies are connected with this breed, how they, the kids can uh, just wander around them, ride them, kids that are, you know, barely nine, ten years old, riding down the middle of the street on these horses bareback, and then taking them into the river to wash them. Uh, I think it just speaks uh, volumes about the nature of these horses and how um, safe they are and how how much they like being around people and people being around them. And I think that's also true here with the, with the young ones. I've not been around horses a, a great deal in my lifetime. I've been involved in horses for, for about nine years or so. And I've never seen horses that are so comfortable being around people and vice versa, especially the babies. Um, it's just not uh, uncommon at all to walk out in the pasture and the babies start to come over to you and uh, want you to pet them, want you to rub them. Um, but I think, you know, that's, I think that's a key part of the personality of this breed, that they are very um, people friendly. Uh, and the fact that um, you can drive them, you can ride them. And the color is uh, probably one of the most unique things that uh, attracted me particularly to this breed was the fact that the color is so unique. It's, in my mind, uh, it is the, the major thing that is different between these horses and so many other horses that you see on the out and about is that the color is just a absolute wow color. And then you combine that with the feathers and the tail and the mane and you just have a very, very unique uh, horse. The experienced staff at El Brio Vanner have worked with many breeds in their careers and have found the Gypsy Vanner to be an exceptional breed, willing to please in all disciplines, including dressage and carriage driving. There are a lot of other breeds like warm bloods that are just naturally um, people relate to dressage with, but the Gypsy Vanner is, is a new upcoming horse that I think people should really think about doing entry-level dressage just because they're so willing and their temperament's really easygoing and I found it that they're really willing to do anything in the dressage ring and it's taken a little bit of time working with, with Bob but we're really progressing through the levels and their gates are, are really free and the judges really seem to be amazed <laughs> with how cute they are let alone their cuteness but They've always commented on how willing they are to do all the different movements. And I've worked at some other farms like thoroughbred breeding farms and they really didn't have the same kind of atmosphere that we have here at El Brio Vanner. The babies are all like little puppy dogs and always come running up to you. And, and uh, we all really enjoy breeding them and we're really interested in preserving the, the purity of the breed that came from the UK. And, what the Gypsy Vanners originally created in their caravan horse. Besides competing in the dressage ring, they're really suited to just go out and go for a trail ride with friends. I mean, they'll go right through the water and around over trees and little jumps and they're not scared of anything, really well suited to just have fun on them. What I really like about the Gypsy Vanners is they're a combination of so many different breeds and it's always fun to come out of the dressage ring and have a crowd of people waiting just to see what it is because it's so unique with the feathers and the different coloring. And they're really willing to do anything you really want and um, from carriage driving to dressage.
And I was really surprised um, to get on them and just see how big of their gait was because their size isn't really that big compared to a warm blood and usual dressage horse. But they really ride like a bigger horse. The goal of El Brio Vanner is to carry on the gypsy tradition in North America and to develop and strengthen their own domestic breeding program. We were um, in the breed, the gypsy Vanner breed, for a couple years and enjoyed them so much that we decided to maybe import a few mares and a stallion and start our own breeding program. We had specific things that we were looking for in the breed and you know, going by what the gypsies have bred for generations, we wanted to stay with that whole confirmation concept, the whole gypsy horse that, that they're so proud of. Um, we bought a stallion, Charlie. We had him imported in 2004. And at the same time, I did a lot of research on mares and breeding, their backgrounds, their foundation and chose mares that I thought would complement Charlie as um, uh, you know, having babies and, and using him as a sire. And so we imported a few mares, started our breeding program, and it worked out great for us because the University of Pennsylvania Veterinary School is only 15 minutes from the house. And we work very closely with them doing um, artificial insemination. We do um, embryo transfers. And it's just a comfort zone knowing that they're so close and they have all the research facilities there. Um, we've had incredible luck, I think, with our breeding program. Our babies are absolutely adorable. Uh, you, you can't wait for the next one to be born to see what it's going to look like because they're all so different. But they have the exact same temperament. They're all very friendly and sweet and loving. They're like having a bunch of little children out in the field. Um, it's not unusual to go out on the field and, and be mobbed by these horses wanting attention. Not to hurt you, they just want attention. They want to be pet, petted and, and loved and hugged and scratched and it's just a nice feeling. Our breeding program here at El Brio Vanner um, is one that we've given a lot of thought to and with research and you know, even our trip to Europe this June to the Appleby Fair just to get a better handle on where the gypsies are and, and what they've produced and to see firsthand exactly you know what it's all about and it's just it was so overwhelming to see all the kids and the horses and just how nice it was. The, the temperament of the horses and the kids playing all around them and you know one little foal laying on the ground and here's a little child walks up and sits with the foal and, and being a horse person I was almost ready to grab the child and then I realized wait this is a Gypsy Vanner horse and their temperament is just so incredible and that was proof just seeing that. Um, as far as our breeding program, from selecting the mares that we, that we chose from the UK and Wales and our stallion, Charlie, um, we hope that we can carry on the whole purity and history that the gypsies have developed over many years. And in five years, we would like to be known as the finest breeders of gypsy vanners in the United States. And I think we're well on our way just looking at the, um, of Charlie's babies for 2005. And it's, our own, it's only our first year at this point. So we're looking forward to 2006, 2007. Um, it could, you know, anything is possible. We're, we're breeding for purity and we're hoping to create a lot of passion in this breed.
We're very pleased with the Gypsy Vanner horse. Um, they're everything that I was expecting and hoping for. We do show them dressage. They seem to excel because of their temperament and willingness to please. We drive. We um, have a lot of trails connected here to the property and bridges and a lot of hazards that most horses might be frightened of and it, nothing just seems to phase them at all. They just continue on like well, nothing happens. Um, we trail ride a lot. We have a lot of friends that you know, enjoy riding with us. And they're just kind of unflappable. It's just a very nice all-around horse to have. Um, it's, it's kind of nice to know that if you want to go to a horse show, you can always put them on the trailer and they're more than willing to do just about anything you, you ask them to do. You know, I was um, very impressed when we went to a show just recently. I was uh, telling you about that earlier that, um, you know, in, in the uh, horse shows that we've attended, whether it's Devon or the local show we visited recently, people are always uh, interested in this particular horse. And what the first question is, what kind of horse really is that? And people are now learning to recognize the Gypsy Vanner uh, breed as an established breed here in America. And um, I think they're gonna become extremely popular over time. Um, Sue is a, is a, she's the brains behind this whole Janner event. Um, she's done the preparation, the work, um, the publicity, the training, uh, and my role in this is one of a support nature. I enjoy being with the horses, I enjoy spending time with Sue with the horses, and she really is the one that has put the uh, El Brio Gypsy Vanner uh, on the map, so to speak, as far as this particular operation is concerned here in Pennsylvania. If someone were to ask me what type of person would own a Gypsy Vanner horse, it's very difficult to answer because when I think of a Gypsy Vanner, I think of you know a children's lead line horse in a show ring or a backyard companion, um, a good friend, uh, a trail buddy. But then I also see the horse doing second level dressage moves and driving carriages and combined driving competition. So I think any level person or rider, or even you know, someone who wants a nice trail friend, anyone could, could use this type of horse. So I guess the answer to that question is um, just about anyone from any level or any type of riding experience could use a Gypsy Vanner. It's just the temperament is so incredible that they're not threatening, they're very calm, they're sweet, they're very forgiving. Um, they're not going to bully you or intimidate you. They just, they're just a good friend and you know, they're nice horses to have around. It is the goal of El Brio Vanner to educate and inform the public about the special nature and attributes of the Gypsy Vanner through dressage competitions, exhibitions, clinics, children's camps and demonstrations, and to continue the vision started by the European Gypsies over a half century ago. Some of the activities that were involved here at El Brio Vanner um, are, we're, we're doing several show circuits for dressage and locally. We can also be seen at dressage at Devon in Pennsylvania. We have a breed class there. Last year was our, was our in, introduction to Devon and they were very excited. They welcomed us with open arms. It was pretty exciting. They were excited to have a new breed to introduce to the, to their, to the local people and, and people at Devon. Also, we're, we'll be at um, Ohio State Fair, hopefully this year and next year and the years to come. We want to make our presence known. Um, we also are working very closely with handicap riding and hope to have a book out before too long with proceeds going to the handicap riding and it'll be about Odd Job Bob and our cat Hairball. You might want to keep an eye out for that. Um, there's a lot going on here at El Brio. Uh, we have children's camp. They come out and we do lead line riding and the kids get all excited about that and it's just the gypsy banner goes over really big with the little kids and um, they just they're just kind of they're like the Pied Piper with this horse and follow him all over the place so. 
We're very excited about the next few years and looking forward to the future with this brand new breed, the Gypsy Vanner Horse. And I think there's, there is a bright future ahead of us. Sue and Ed and the experienced staff at El Brio Vanner invite anyone interested in learning more about this special breed to visit their website or contact them for more information.